Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, this is part two of my solar tracker project. Uh, I might be releasing a kit for this, I might not. I'll probably make an instructable for it, but it all depends on how much time I have. Anyway, I haven't been really playing with it too much. Uh, as you can see, I, I've got something up and running. I'm about to show it to you. Uh, my sensor board here has three light sensors on it. Uh, for those of you who subscribe to my channel, you'll know that I love to use glue because I'm lazy. <laughs> uh, now, how this works, essentially, in a very small nutshell, is each sensor, light sensor, is essentially a voltage divider feeding off a different voltage depending on how much light there is. Uh, all three of those channels are fed into three different analog to digital converters on my microprocessor. So it's always sampling them and doing comparisons. And I've only got five motions set up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have ten eventually, but just because I'm new to servo motors, I haven't really been playing with them for that long. Uh, I, I know my stepper motors inside and out, but the uh, but servos I just never had the opportunity to play with, so this is my first uh, stepper project. And my pick is also controlling the uh, PWM, the pulse with modulation that is fed into the uh, servo. Right now it's essentially at zero degrees, that's its neutral spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on, and I'm, or I'm going to zoom out, I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to show you. If there's more light on the middle sensor, it stops, and it consumes no current. And as soon as uh, the left sensor has more, uh, more light hitting it, it'll make an adjustment to the left, and so more so to the right, until it goes all the way this way or all the way this way. It can't keep going around in circles. So I've got it glued down to the table so I can't go anywhere. So let's uh, plug it in. To give you more of a sunlight effect, or the sensor rather, I'm going to use my trusty supercapacitor flashlight. So I'll power it on. And there you go. So it follows it. Right now the sensor, is, the middle sensor is getting the most light so it will stay stationary. Anyway, it still needs to be tweaked. I've, uh, for the better part I'm happy with it. I need to get more steps on the stepper motor because as I said there's five. There's left, middle left, middle uh, middle right and right, so five different positions, middle being neutral. And so, because of the way I've got it set up, it essentially gives me uh, 360 degrees of, of, uh, of coverage, almost 360 degrees. But anyway, yeah, that's my project so far. I'll update you when I have uh, more going on uh, and have more steps. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video.